I mean, it wasn't that bad until what happened tonight. That's yeah. why we didn't want to like sound dramatic, like make it like random video. And we're just like scared where it's gonna go from now because it's we been don't escalating. Know who it is. We don't know who it is, and it's been escalating. But um, we have to start at the beginning to for them to understand kind of everything that's been going on. I feel like we didn't really like think anything of it until like stuff that's been happening like this past week and honestly we never thought anything about this only because we deal with like so many fans every single day right like we were at cheesecake factory tonight we took some pictures with fans you know people take pictures of us we see people in bathrooms but it's to a certain extent where it gets a little weird by mm -hmm. this one person that's been doing it to us for a little yes bit. so we started it out we did a meet and greet at an ice cream truck a few months ago uh if you guys have been like watching us you will know that we were i mean we were meeting fans we never thought anything of it if we received pictures but we get this mm -hmm. dm and this is where it starts and we don't know the account we look past it but it was a picture of us from far away in the ice cream truck and it had like a creepy message attached to it They're like i see you or something along the lines where like i spotted you here mm -hmm. we were like oh we didn't think anything of it just okay. because i mean some people are shy some people you know, might not want to come up to the ice cream truck to meet us or whatever, so we look past that. But looking back, um, we definitely know that was him. So something else that's been really weird, you guys know that we obviously don't share our phone number. We got like a bunch of no caller IDs in like one day. But like, we've gotten them like sporadically, which is like fine. I just feel like everyone gets no caller IDs. Yeah, but, but I think there's about 15, and but like nonstop, like back to back. And another thing is that he always like calls us at the certain times during right. the day like we always know that it's that time that he's gonna call like we kind of i don't know he's like on Expect a schedule it. one time he answered the phone because we were like well what if it's just a solicitor or someone like that and it was just like heavy breathing like if you were like just got done running a marathon you're like I think in a horror movie when someone's like i don't know when i explain it and there's breathing into the phone this was probably a few weeks ago to a month ago but I was uh, at a restaurant just in LA and I did post about it. I post where I was because, you know, sometimes we do that just not realizing. I went to the bathroom and there was no one in this bathroom and I was in the stall and I hear the door open and it's like, it's always a little bit scary when someone opens the door when you're like alone in a bathroom. Yeah. But all the stalls are open. There's like five stalls open. The whole bathroom is open and this guy is walking right in front of my stall back and forth and panting just the exact same way that he was on the phone. So I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I was like texting Simone because she was there too and I was like, th I think that like he found us. That was and that was kind of, cause no one, if the bathroom's open, they're gonna go use the stall. Why would they be pacing right in front of my stall, making sure I see their footsteps and. Like you could just tell like they're obviously like waiting. All right, so Simone was also at the restaurant and I was texting her but she wasn't answering and I was like, this is an emergency. Like I have to do anything to help me get out of this bathroom alive because I didn't know if he wanted to kidnap me. I didn't know, like, if he was taking, I don't know what he was doing, but I I'm was like, terrified because I knew it was him. I knew he was walking back and forth. It was the exact same, like, breathing, presence. exact same presence. And it was, it was creepy. That doesn't happen in normal situations. Right. No one's walking back and forth, making sure you see, he wanted me to be paranoid and scared. And that's the reason that he was there. Simone was not answering my text. I was texting her a bunch. I was texting anyone at the dinner, but they were all, they were probably in a conversation or something, yeah. not looking at your phones because. It was when my family was in town, like, a few months ago. I was, like, yeah. somewhere in West Hollywood. Yeah. So then. Um, I called Simone and she picked up and I was just like, I was like, send your dad or send someone to the bathroom, tell a waiter. And I, I said it and I'm pretty sure he heard it because I didn't know what else to do. I was like scared and I needed someone to help. And maybe if he knew that someone was, was going to come to help, he would leave me alone or something. So luckily once I made that call, he like, just like scurried out of the bathroom really, really quickly. And that was the end of that. And then your dad came in and helped me. This isn't even like half of the story yet. Like if you think this is scary, just, just like Keep wait watching. a few minutes. 